how could I take 3,000 people and throw them into the street because of this accidental fire? It wasn't their fault. Aaron Fierstein, in a 1996 interview with Chronicle, explaining his headline-making decision to keep paying his employees after the 1995 fire that wiped out Malden Mills. That loyalty and generosity made all the difference to Stephen Jesmer, who worked in the mills for 43 years, as did his wife, parents, and five brothers. He was in the family. If you work there, he wants your wife to work there, too your kids to work there, aunts, uncles. I'm sorry to hear that he passed. He was just a good man. Jesmer recalls the day he watched the mill burn. Miraculously, no one died, but Ferristein understood a part of Lawrence died that day, and he did not abandon this city. And that was a kind of corporate citizenship that is that you know that was we needed back in 1995, and we need again today. Aaron Ferristein died Thursday evening after complications from a fall in his Brookline home. He was 95. What he did back in 1995 was truly outstanding, and we can't forget that he's an important figure in our city's history. He wanted to give people jobs, you know. He wanted to help Help them out, you know, just make life better for everybody, not just make a buck. And we just talked to his son who says that he lived a full life. Daniel Ferristein says his dad loved this town. He loved these employees. That love went both ways, obviously. In a 2002 interview with 60 Minutes, Ferristein was asked what he'd want his tombstone to read. He answered, quote, he'd done his damnedest. You know, I didn't give up, that I did the right thing.